Hello, and welcome to the Portland Art Gallery's November opening. My name is Emma Wilson, and I'm the director here, and so delighted that you could join us. This month's feature artists are MJ Benson, Steve Rogers, and Dietlin Vanderschaff. More from them in a few minutes. We are also featuring new artwork by artist, affiliated artist, Andrew Faulkner. So I encourage you to check him out on our website or here in the gallery space. We continue to be open seven days a week from 10 to 5.30, and it's been a joy to see so many of you come into our space. And we also are still currently uh, open 24-7 online at www.portlandartgallery.com. Uh, first, a few thank yous. Thank you to our clients who continue to stay engaged and to visit with us and to make artwork purchasing part of their plans this time of year. Um, also, thank you to our artists who continue to create phenomenal works. Some of you may have seen the news uh, letter that went out uh, last Friday where it was, we do that every two weeks with new work that is created by our artists. And it was, it was, it was just filled with phenomenal pieces. So it's November, holiday season has begun. Halloween happened, so we know between Halloween and January 1st, that's it, it's the holiday season. And then we have all these other distractions and things going on in our world right now. So one of the things that I keep talking to myself about yes, I do talk to myself, and to my children about, is around self-care and what it means to sort of take care of yourself during the times when you can feel a lot of anxiety. For some of us, it's binge watching Parks and Rec, even though we've seen it a thousand times, or introducing ourselves to some new musician, like my son introduced me to Tyler Childs and playing as loud as you can and singing. Uh, maybe it's taking a walk outside, whatever it might be that feeds you and to helps you to feel better. And for many of you, it's looking and engaging with art and just spending time with it. So uh, take good care of yourself and for a sit back and enjoy uh, listening to remarks from our three feature artists at this time. Thank you again. And now it's my pleasure to introduce artist MJ Benson. When you meet, see MJ, um, whether she's plein air painting or in the, in the gallery space, she always gives you such a warm greeting, a smile that's behind her mask and she just has that energy about her. She's also fearless with her approach to her mediums and to her art making through the years. Most recently, she's focused on painting and she has created a body of work for the show this month that has an uh, uplifting energy. And also, she just, it gives such, an, um, such strong evidence of the strength in nature. And so with that, I'd like to introduce artist MJ Benson. Hello, my name is MJ Benson and I'm an artist here at the beautiful Portland Art Gallery in Portland, Maine. I'm a painter. Um, in the past, I've also been a photographer. Um, I've been studying art since I was in high school. Um, I went to the School of the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston. I graduated from there, studying mostly photography. After I moved to Maine, I was lucky enough to go to the continuing ed program at the Maine College of Art and also to Haystack Mountain. School of Fine Crafts, which is up in Deer Isle, and um, part of the Open Door program, which is for Maine residents and I learned from some amazing teachers how to use paint to express my vision and my exploration of the landscape um, and it's something that's just been magical for me and um, I certainly hope you enjoy it too. Um, and I have a few pieces here this month. Um, of course they're all, <laughs> they've all been made in a very uh, turbulent time in our lives um, and I think that this is a year where I have felt my most human. I think that um, you know we're, we're vulnerable to infection with COVID-19, which is something that we all share if you're human. And then we've got a lot of stuff going on in our country um, that is um, you know, up and down and making us all sort of anxious and worrisome and what's gonna happen and it's a really crazy time. But I think too that there's a lot of hope and a lot of possibility in this time too, that this is a time to reassess what's important to us, what we want to focus our time on and our lives on, and you know what we want to teach our kids. Um, I have two teenagers at home who are you know, living through this and I'm really curious to see how they come, come out of this, so um, I'm very hopeful. Um, and in that light, I have done a lot of work this year. I changed to using primarily oil paints this year and I think it's been a really beautiful transition to that. Um, I have a few pieces here um, and 
they were all made in the last couple of months. And um, I do do landscape primarily. So even though they don't necessarily feel uh, directly reflective of what's going on, they are very much representational um, in terms of what I've been feeling this year, what I've been seeing this year, and to see not only the turbulence, but the beauty in the world. So I have, there's this, I love this one. Oh, it's called Phoenix. And we all know Phoenix rising from the ashes. It's a beautiful concept. And usually when I paint, I don't have a, a title or name in place. So when I was in the middle of painting this one, all of a sudden it just popped into my head. This is Phoenix. This is, this is what it feels like to me. Um, and then this one, which I'm standing in front of as well, is called Sedimentary. And it's all about the layers of experience. That's how I see it. Um, there are some other ones here too, which of course you're welcome to go online and take a look at them. Um, and I know too that if you have detailed questions about them, you can always call um, the gallery and they can set a time up for you. Uh, to look at things over FaceTime. I know they did that with Australia last week, which is really exciting, <laughs> kind of amazing. And also um, probably most accessible is um, checking us out online because they have a great gallery tour, a great way for you to sit and look at all the pieces in your own time in the gallery. It's called Matterport. You can go on portlandartgallery.com and check it out. Um, and then you can always come in and visit. They would love to see you. They're here every day from 10 to 5.30. And um, you can come and see more of my work, which I just, I mean, I'm, I'm so happy with how it looks here. It's wonderful. Um, and of course, you can always take one home. It's a great time to be looking at our living spaces, to be seeing how we want to um, have beauty within them. So things we can look at at all times. So. Um, and I did want to thank, uh, of course, the gallery for showing my work, and in particular, Emma and Kevin and other Emma, um, OE, which one of our artists calls her, other Emma, and of course, Sean, who's uh, doing the video for me today. Um, and then my crazy family, both near and far, who I love dearly, and um, this wonderful artist community. Um, and one other thing, I did want to dedicate this show to my brother who passed away last month from cancer um, and I really he did get to see a bunch of these pieces and I'm really happy he did so this work is for you Rob and thank you so much and please come in and visit thank you MJ for your remarks and for your great endorsement of the gallery you're absolutely right we are accessible 24 7 and now it, I am thrilled to introduce artist Stephen Rogers Steve's been working with us for a number of years now. There's nobody that I can think of that captures that iconic main landscape with such detail and precision. It's almost as though the crafts, the boats that he uh, paints has a personality all of their own that they're sharing their story with you through his canvas. Uh, a little known fact, Steve actually has, has been a model boat builder for many years and it was an instructor up at the Wooden Boat School up in Brooklyn before he transitioned to painting and how, how happy we are that he made that decision. So with that, I'd like to introduce artist Steve Rogers. Hi, I'm Steve Rogers. I'm one of the artists in the show this month, and I couldn't be more pleased to be here in the company of these other artists that uh, are part of the show. Uh, I love being part of a group of artists, especially ones as professional and as, as talented as, as the artists in this particular show. So thank you for coming to see the show. Um, I am what they call a marine artist, which means that uh, generally I paint ships and uh, boats and uh, the ocean and, and lakes and swamps and uh, anything that has anything to do with water and, and boats. Uh, I love marshes, I love the ocean, um, I love all of it. I particularly like working boats like the ones that we've all used to see around here. Um, the area where I live uh, is famous for mostly uh, Menhaden fishing. Uh, on the other side of the peninsula where I live uh, is the Chesapeake Bay, uh, which is famous for 
oystering and uh, I love going over there and painting their boats. I love coming up here and painting lobster boats and uh, trawlers and, and all the various you know kinds of boats that, that fish the waters here. Um, what the scene behind me is from uh, South Bristol, Maine. It is the old bridge that went from the mainland to Rutherford Island and uh, my parents lived there for several years uh, as well in other areas around South Bristol and Dharmascotta. Uh, it's a particularly interesting place for me because uh, on one side of, of the little uh, gut there uh, was the famous Gamages shipyard which built uh, Menhaden boats in the early 1900s, uh, several of which served in Lewis where I live in the Menhaden industry. Uh, on the other side, uh, on Rutherford Island, there was a small shop where they built uh, Whitehall skiffs. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a great area. Another time I remember going to the uh, South Bristol Lobster Co-op and we all went over there because they caught a blue lobster and I couldn't wait to see it. Uh, I love going all, to all the little coastal towns up and down Maine's uh, you know, mid-coast area and um, friendship is, is a great place. I had a friend who retired from uh, the uh, Delaware Marine Studies College. Uh, Rockland is one of my favorite places to go. They have a shipyard at the north end of town that always has work in and uh, I love to go see the stuff hauled up on the ways uh, being welded or, or replanked. Uh, years ago I went up there and one of the uh, boats from the main Windjammer fleet was there. The boat, however, was actually a Delaware Bay oyster schooner. And uh, it was March, I remember the guy working on the boat, um, surprisingly was Irish, and he was absolutely freezing. Uh, it seems that he had been working down in Florida and had moved up to Maine for a job, and the job was scraping the paint off the back of this boat in Rockland, Maine, and he had just not adapted to Maine's weather yet. Uh, so he was not a happy camper, but it made a great scene. So he's in the painting I did of that scene. Um, I always paint that sort of work. Uh, I love the small work boats more than anything else, uh, and mostly because there's just so much pressure uh, for uh, tourists and uh, people from other places to buy up the waterfront and develop it. And it just pushes the watermen further and further away. Um, my painting style is called representational, which means that pretty much it's going to look like it actually looks. Uh, I've tried to loosen up. I'm a big fan of the uh, Impressionists and I ha I, I'm pretty clear now that I will never be one, but I will always admire their work. Uh, my work is always in acrylics. Uh, acrylics are a challenging medium because they dry very quickly. So you don't have a lot of time to make decisions about what you're doing. Uh, oil painters talk in terms of, of blending and adding colors. Acrylic painters think about layers because as you paint and you lay down each layer of color, uh, the truth is you can't go back and do anything with it. You know, that's the color it's going to be. It's, it's almost like printing. Uh, you, can, you can get a, a fade from one color to another if you work very wet on wet and very fast, which occasionally I have to do. Uh, but one of the beauties of acrylics is you can do a process that's called glazing, which means that you underpaint something in one color and then you mix up a transparent uh, layer of color that you lay down over it. And uh, it, it gives it a glow uh, because the light passes through the transparent layer and reflects back out from the layer underneath. And it's a, it's a very nice effect that was used uh, a lot by the old masters and um, acrylics because of the way they dry it makes it 
very easy to do. Um, again, I'm very pleased to be part of this show. I hope you'll be able to come see it, and thank you. And now it is my privilege to introduce November feature artist, Dietlin Vandershaft. If there is ever a day, and there have been many in the last few months, that I feel that need to take a deep breath and calm down a little bit, I will go and stand and meditate for a moment in front of one of Dietlin's pieces. Dietlin uses the encaustic medium, and she'll share a little bit more about that. But really, it's in the layering and the looking deeper with her work that I think the magic really comes to happen. She had her career, she, we've been working with her since February of last year. Her career and her reach has, is across the globe at this point. It is such an honor to work with her and it's also an honor to introduce artist Dietlin Vandershaft. Thank you, Emma. So I work with encaustic. This is a form of molten pigmented wax. It's kept hot on a heated palette and then applied to a panel and built up in layers between which you fuse with a heat gun or a torch. Uh, my work consists of many layers, so anywhere from 50 to 75 layers or more. And then I also work with um, oil paint on the surface as well as 23 karat gold leaf. So my work has a lot of elements of repetition in it. If you're looking at it, you'll see repeated marks, um, lines, forms. Um, the work itself is an exploration of the natural world um, as well as um, how, you f how one feels in the natural world. So I'm trying to create a felt sensation rather than a literal interpretation of my experience. If you look at my work, you'll see elements of birds, you'll see elements of light, clouds, uh, water, um, suggestions of buildings, all kinds of um, things that you can find, but I've interpreted them in a different way. The piece behind me, for example, is titled Kuchenhof, and um, the title comes from one of the world's largest flower gardens, which um, I had the privilege to visit in 2019 with my mother. It's um, in the Netherlands, and it's, it's an extraordinary um, flower garden, and I think my experience of visiting it was um, also affected by the fact that I'd been up all night on the airplane on the ride over. I was pretty sleep deprived and it's a um, pretty amazing place to, to visit. And when I visited it, when I was walking around, there, I almost had the sensation of being like at a beautiful concert, like a symphony. Uh, um, it's sort of overwhelming how beautiful the world is to me, and that's what I'm trying to convey with my work. Um, so the, the other thing I wanted to say is that the process of making my work is really important to me. I love building the layers and, um, and then sort of finding my way to the, the final painting. Um, if you look around um, at the work in this show, you'll also see that the titles are probably rather unique. In most cases, they're just one word and they're often borrowed from another language. Uh, much of my work is influenced by travel, you know, some of it just uh, locally, hiking in the White Mountains, and others um, are influenced by trips um, overseas like Kuchenhof or Boda, which is uh, I painted after I returned from Norway last year. Um, I hope that you enjoy the work. I hope that your visit, um, that, that seeing the work um, helps you to feel a little calm and centered. It's been an intense year. Um, and also in, enjoy the work of the other artists that are exhibiting at the same time. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining us for the November opening featuring artists MJ Benson, Steve Rogers, and Dietlin Vandershaft, and also our affiliated artist, Andrew Faulkner. Please come and find us here at 154 Middle, seven days a week, 10 to 5.30, or stay in touch with us through the web, our website at www.portlandartgallery.com, or on Instagram as well, Portland Art Gallery. Stay tuned, uh, in a couple of days you'll receive the, our virtual uh, tour through the Matterport, um, Matterport program. Special thank you to Peter Murnau as he helps us with that every month. So in the meantime, be well, take good care of each other, take good care of yourself, and stay in touch. Thank you.